Hello, Croquil 66. Joey Gates here. I'm just uh, I'm wanting to show one of my favorite features in Anime Studio Pro, and it's one of the reasons why I really like this program. I used to use Moho back in the day. It was a shareware program, and uh, it was eventually acquired and became Anime Studio. And uh, but even back then, I thought it was extremely powerful in its ability to draw vector shapes, but to do point level animation on those shapes. Um, so I could draw a simple shape and do really nice stretch and squash because uh, I can select the points that I want to uh, move and basically form the shapes that I want as I went along. Um, Flash does not allow you to do point level animation. They um, basically, when you draw shapes, you can use their uh, shape hints and uh, you can kind of tween simple shapes, but doing complicated uh, animation like this um, in Flash, you're going to drive yourself absolutely nuts. So let's look at this mouth shape here. So the shape itself, one of the things it lets you do in this program is you can combine multiple shapes into one layer and one shape. So if we zoom in on this mouth, let's get a good look at it. You can see that it is this line that moves around here is tapered off. One of the things it lets you do is it lets you define thick and thin lines, um, which you can also animate the thickness and thinness and thinness of any line. Um, but the outline, the fill of the mouth, the tooth, the teeth here with um, the outline of the teeth, all of that is one shape. The tongue I have on a separate layer, um, but the teeth here and the mouth are all one shape. And what that does, it gives me the ability to manipulate the points. I built the mouth as simply as, as, as possible for this particular character and for flexibility. Um, zoom back, back out a little bit. Now, the same process that I'm using on his mouth, I'm also using on his face and on his eyes. And there are no bones in this animation. There's no IK, there's no FK. What I've done is I've just built my character in such a way that I can manipulate points. Now, I have here a plan that I use. Let's go back up and turn this guy off. I have a plan that I use to help me, let me just play this here, to help, to help me stay on track. And that's very important. Okay, so I have a plan. Obviously, I don't follow it exactly, but I know where I'm going with my cartoon. Um, so, with that in mind, I just kind of I just kind of went for it on this one. But as you can see, I have groups here. I have a head group. I have a body group. And I have a hair group based on, you know, foreground, background uh, type of situation. Inside the head, I have a face group and a head group. And um, inside the head, I have my hair and my ears. Inside the face, I have basically everything that makes up the face. And uh, so that's typically that's typically how I do it. And because I get because the manipulation of the mouth was really, really important to me and how I animate that. I was able to stretch and squash the head the same way, just by manipulating points. So uh, if you've never tried it, it's fun. Uh, a simple thing to try would be like a bouncing ball. Um, building a simple vector shape and doing a bouncing ball with stretch and squash. Uh, it's quite liberating and uh, it's fun. So uh, hopefully this has been helpful. I can do more. Talk to you later.